And we begin this very busy hour with the results of last night's critical primary races. Liz Cheney, once the third most powerful Republican in Congress, lost her primary bid last night to her Trump-backed challenger by a whopping 37 percentage points. Here's some of what she said about her political future in an exclusive interview with Today. Are you thinking about running for president? It, uh, that's a decision that I'm going to make in the in the coming months, Savannah. I'm not going to make any announcements here this morning, but uh, but it is something that I uh, I'm thinking about, and I'll make a decision uh, in the coming months. Meanwhile, a different story for another Trump critic in Alaska. Senator Lisa Murkowski finished first in her primary bid, allowing her to advance to the general race. But she won't be the only Republican on the ballot. The candidate endorsed by Donald Trump will also advance to the November midterms. Here to start us off this morning, NBC's Vaughn Hilliard is in Jackson, Wyoming. NBC's Ali Vitali is in Anchorage, Alaska. Susan Del Percio is a Republican strategist and an MSNBC political analyst. And Cristobal Alex is the former president of the Latino Victory Project, an organization that works to increase Latino representation within all levels of government. He is also former senior advisor to the Biden campaign and now an MSNBC political analyst. So, Vaughn, what are you hearing from voters about why they decided to leave Liz Cheney? behind. You said it, Jose. Uh, we're looking at about a 37 percentage margin between Harriet Hageman, the Trump-backed mm, candidate who is an election wanna... denier, who has propagated right. these conspiracy theories. You have seen her uh, beating roundly Liz Cheney here. And over the course of the last year, when we've been having conversations with voters, you've been consistently hearing that uh, Liz Cheney betrayed the state of Wyoming and betrayed her Republican Party because of her effort uh, to undermine Donald Trump's political power, not only voting to impeach him, but then helming the January 6th Select Committee. But what you heard last night on stage, Liz Cheney here in Jackson, Wyoming, uh, I, frankly, it was not a normal concession speech. It was not a normal election night watch party for somebody who was so handily defeated. Yes, she was poignant, but it wasn't so much about her defeat here in Wyoming, but about the state of her country and her political party. And she contended that she will do, quote, whatever it takes to make sure that Donald Trump is not in office again. But she really caps off a season of primaries in which of those 10 GOP House members, Jose, who voted to impeach Donald Trump last year after the January 6th insurrection, eight of the 10 will not be returning to the U.S. Congress next year.